Hello guys, this is a medical library video for you. Topic is bronchoectasis. Let's begin. Bronchoectasis definition. Bronchoectasis is defined as abnormal and irreversible dilation of the bronchi or bronchioles greater than 2 mm in diameter developing secondary to inflammatory weakening of the bronchial wall. Causes Etiology The most common cause of bronchoectasis is an infection in the lungs. This includes viral infection like the flu and bacterial infection like step or tuberculosis. Additional causes of bronchoectasis includes inhaling foreign objects or food, breathing in stomach acid, cystic fibrosis, gastroesophageal reflux disease, weakening in immune system, example HIV, uncontrolled diabetes. According to the National Institute of Allergy and Infection Disease, one third of the all cases of bronchiectasis are caused by cystic fibrosis. Chronic obstruct to pulmonary disease, chronic bronchitis and emphysema also obstruct the lungs and raise risk for bronchiectasis. Let's see etiopathology of the bronchiectasis. The origin of the inflammatory destructive pores of bronchial wall is nearly always a result of two basic mechanisms. They are endobronchial obstruction and infection. Endobronchial obstruction by the foreign body, neoplastic growth or enlarged lymph nodes cause reabsorption of the air distilled to the obstruction with consequent atelectasis and retention of secretions. Infection may be secondary to local obstruction and inferior systemic defense mechanism promoting bacterial growth or infection may be primary event that is bronchiectasis develop in superative necrotizing pneumonia. The two mechanisms that are endobronchial obstruction and infection are seen in a number of clinical settings as under hereditary and congenital factors. Obstruction as secondary complication. First we will see the hereditary and congenital factors. Hereditary and congenital factors. Several hereditary and congenital factors may result secondary in diffuse bronchiectasis. They are congenital bronchiectasis caused by developmental defects of the bronchial system. Cystic fibrosis is a generalized defect of exocrine glands. Secretion result in obstruction, infection, and bronchiectasis. Hereditary immune deficiency diseases are often associated with high incidence of bronchiectasis. Immortal Celi syndrome that includes Cartagenar syndromes characterized by ultrastructural changes in the microchipules causing immortality of the cilia of the respiratory tract epithelium, sperm, and other cells. Males in, in this syndrome are often infertile. Atopic bronchial asthma patients have often positive family history of allergic disease and may rarely develop diffuse bronchoectasis. Next see the obstruction. post obstructive bronchoectasis, unlike the congenital hereditary forms, is of a localized variety, usually conformed to one part of bronchial system. The cause of endobronchial obstruction includes foreign body, endobronchial tumors, compression by enlarged hyalur, lymph nodes, and post inflammatory scarring. Example in Heal tuberculosis, all of which favors the development of post obstructive bronchiectasis. A secondary complication, necrotizing pneumonia, such as in staphylococcal superitu pneumonia and tuberculosis, may develop bronchiectasis as a complication. Let's see the pathogenesis. We will begin from the left. Infection with acute inflammation and recruitment of inflammatory cells leads to release of inflammatory cell cytokines, paradoxes, proteinases, elastase, etc., which leads to destruction of mucociliary and cartilaginous sub supporting structures. Thus leads to loss of ventilatory function, which ultimately leads to impairment of mucociliary clearance, putum retention. This leads to collination and biofilling formation and intermittent dispersals, which leads to again the inf infection, which is this cycle is called viscous cycle. Next we see the grossly appearance, pathological appearance of the lungs in the bronchiectasis. The lungs may be developed diffuse or segmentally. Bilateral involvement of lower lobes occur more frequently. More vertical air passage of left lower lobes are more often involved than the right. The pura is usually fibrotic and thickened with addition to the chest wall. The dilated airway depending upon their gross or the bronchographic appearance has have been subclassified into following different types. They are Cylindrical, the most common type, characterized by the tube-like bronchial dilation, fusiform having spindle-shaped bronchial dilation, sacular having round sac-like bronchial di distinction, varicose having irregular bronchial enlargement. 
cut surface of the affected lobe. Generally, the lower zone shows a characteristic honeycomb appearance. The bronchi are extensively dilated near to the pura. Their walls are thickened, and the lumia are filled with mucus or mucopus. The intervening lung parenchyma is reduced and fibrotic. In the figure, you can observe the honeycomb-like appearance on lower side of the lungs. Next, we see the symptoms. Symptoms of bronchiectasis can take months or even years to develop. Here are some of the symptoms. Chronic coughing, coughing of blood, abnormal sound or wheezing in the chest on breathing, shortness of breath, chest pain, coughing up large amount of mucus daily, bad breath odor, skin with the blue appearance, weight loss, fatigue, thickening of the skin under nails and toes. Let's see the diagnosis. The first is chest, chest x-ray. Let's begin. In chest radiograph, routine chest radiographs are abnormal in approximately 90% of systemic patients with bronchiectasis. In the chest x-ray, finding includes hyperinflation, tram tracks, increased linear marking, focal pneumonitis, ring, uh, ring shadows and atelectitis. High resolution CT scan. CT scan is used to clarify the finding from the chest x-ray. Next pulmonary function test is used to find the find the evidence for the hyperinflation and reduced carbon monoxide diffuse capacity. Next is sweat chloride test. Cystic fibrosis usually diagnosis early in the life with about 70% of cases diagnosed by the age of 1 year. However, the few patients in whom diagnosis is not made until early adulthood, those patients usually present with recurrent respiratory symptoms. The initial test in the adult patient represents with clinical symptoms suggestive of cystic fibrosis. Next is test for pulmonary ciliary dyskinesia. Measurement of nitric acid levels in the exhaled breath condensate may be useful for the screening for test of primary ciliary dyskinesia. Level A below 250 ppb or suggested of PCD but can occur in the disease as well. Definite testing for PCD requires measurement of ciliary beat frequency, usually high speed digital video photography. This usually requires biopsy taken from nasal and tracheal epithelium. Next is bronchoscopy. Bronchoscopy is used to patients with, patients with localized bronchiectasis. Bronchoscopy is used indicated to exclude the possibility of foreign body and any bron endobronchial lesions. Next is we will see the treatment. Treatment. The surgery. The area classification of bronchiectasis method of debate. Patients usually to select for surgery based on the morphological classification. They are cystic, non-cystic. A hemodynamic based classification, which is based on both on morphological and functional, that is, perfusive and non perfusive features, is proposed by some investigators. Surgery is performed on patient who has localized area of cystic and non perfusive bronchiectasis. A majority of patients achieved excellent result after surgery with minimal motility and mobility. Next is bronchopulmonary hygiene. Bronchopulmonary hygiene consists of different maneuvers and drugs that aid the patient to remove respiratory secretions, it includes physical therapy such as postural drainage, chest percussion, forced exhalation, and controlled cough, in addition to the use of mucolytics in inhaled bronchodilators and corticosteroids. The use of inhaled bronchodilators and corticosteroids, bronchodilators are less effective when compared with corticosteroids. Corticosteroids like futacasone and beclomethasone reduce this product production. Short course of high dose antibiotics result in reduction in sputum volume and purulence as well as clinical improvement of patient. Oxygen therapy is used. And next is, I think this video likes you. Please like, share and subscribe.